on 10 News. How can companions with conflicting pet preferences get along? Does your boyfriend love dogs but you don't? We'll tell you what to do. We're back live inside Studio 10. Oh, look at that what face. A yeah, that's, that's a Jordan. good boy. Whether it's waking up with a paw or where she had a tail in your face or simply jockeying for position on the couch, it can be challenging sharing the one you love with his or her best four legged friend. So, how do you strike a fair balance respecting your partner's love for his pets but meeting your own needs? And our next guest has been through this. He's an owner of four dogs and creator of You Must Love Dogs Dating, the website. Chris Rotunda joins us. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So you obviously love dogs. I do. I got and you I have four, four. Mm -hmm. as I mentioned, and your girlfriend. Not exposed to them, doesn't like them. Tell me how tell me how you met her. Tell us how you met her and, mm -hmm. and what happened, how you got her to love dogs. Actually a little over a year ago we met at a gym and um, that was one of the first things she asked me when she found out I had four dogs. Why four dogs? That was the, one of the first things, not even my middle name, it was why four dogs? Why would somebody have four dogs? And I had them in an apartment. So oh my God. Yeah. Like, like big dogs? No, she's the biggest one I have. I actually have her and then I have a, a Yorkie, a Bichon, and a Poodle. Does your landlord know that you have four dogs in the apartment? I'm not in the apartment anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, time so, now. So why four dogs? You know, it was, I, I inherited, I almost like inherited two from a past relationship. Okay. And I couldn't let them go. You know, you kind of fall in love with them when you get them. I met a girl that had a dog before and it came into my home and when the breakup happened, it, it, she just kind of... So we're establishing you are a major, major dog lover. Yes. So how do you get past the, the jealousy issue? Because that I, I've known couples where that has been an issue, where one of the spouses has paid more attention uh, to the dog than, than to, the, to their significant other. Mm -hmm. uh, how, do you, how do you get past that if that's an issue? Well, when I first met Denise, that, I wasn't, wouldn't have dated somebody that didn't. Not that she didn't like them, she just said she chose to not have them. Mm -hmm. And she hadn't and really been exposed to them, No, not, not like. at all. So she, her parents didn't have them, nobody had them really around her. So it wasn't, I wasn't looking to date, to date her. So as we went, we were best friends for a year. And as time went on, she just kind of fell in love with them. And now it's been a growing relationship. How did you find the common ground? I guess the common ground started with uh, the more time we spent together, the more she was just exposed to them. And the more you get exposed to them, the more you see the passion between both of us. Um, it's, it was easy to fall in love with. So there's the happy family. So Denise got to know the dogs, <laughs> basically saw your appreciation for them, and that's how it works. So what advice do you have for couples, or would-be couples? They're interested in each other, mm -hmm. but they're not compatible in this regard. What steps do they need to take? I guess look at it from a different perspective. Um, you can say, I don't want to date someone with dogs, but I guess if you look at somebody who has that dog lover's heart, they have that passion, they have goals, they they have that big heart for dogs. That means that shows like a preview of how they will be as a parent almost. And almost like as a father and mother figure. So you gotta, you gotta almost like turn into a positive. I mean, unless they're one of the dog owners that lets them do whatever they want around the house and it's messy, that's mm -hmm. different. My dogs are very well behaved. Well, how do you, uh, you know, maybe if uh, you, the dog is, one of the dogs is out of control, how do you set the boundaries between what the dog's doing and what your partner wants and, and, and all that? I guess it better, it, it, for me, I, I introduced them so well. To, to Denise and she got to see because I do have a Yorkie that is very rambunctious and she is loud and I guess the common ground between the two is you know take care of the dog right I'll stay on this side <laughs> mm -hmm. but now it's more she, she's taking control of the reins too though so it sounds like Denise made some concessions in terms of starting to find her own love mm -hmm. for dogs mm -hmm. and then did you do things or do you advise that that dog owner maybe maybe the other person doesn't like if you if you let the dog lick your face or something like that did did you have to make any changes um, the only changes I really had to make were um, almost like the dog in the bedroom kind of mentality like a lot of people don't like dogs in the couch or in the bedroom um, that was a transition for me because I've always had my dog in the bedroom. So with her coming around, she didn't like that. So you, you gotta have to you have to know what you want. If you don't, if you just want to be a dog lover, be a dog lover. We got more tips on your website. Tell us about that. Oh yeah, if you go under the uh, figure out questions, we have tips on. You know, our, we have a big blog on the on the website too that talks about dog in the bedroom, um, dog, you know, on the furniture. You know, even dogs just eating human food. Hey, let me ask you this. When, uh, when the dog misbehaves, is it okay for Denise mm -hmm. to, to reprimand the dog if you're not there? Or how do you feel about her reprimanding, quote unquote, your dogs? Well, again, that's a compromise on my side, too. You know, she's got to come into a house where there are dogs, and uh, she has different ways of reprimanding than I do. Sure. So I have to be able to 
compromise with her, and she does. She does reprimand them pretty well. You know, <laughs> she she knows how to do it. Now. She knows how to do it. She's a she's a tough woman. Very good. You must love dogs dating .com. Thank you very Thanks, much for Chris. being here, Chris. Yep. Thank you for Thank having you, me, Jordan. All right, buddy. <laughs>